please give an incredible Cleveland welcome to Bill Walton. Okay, Bill, we're gonna have Cleveland. To <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try C, the Cavs. Man, if only I've had this in my life, I could have made something of myself. <laughs> what a time we had here in 97. And so we get here to Cleveland and it is just a grand celebration of life with the top 50 players of all time. And we're having the time of our life, but we never got to spend a second with any of the other guys. But then we're over here at the arena and we're getting ready for the halftime announcement. What was the arena called in those days? We'll just Gun call it Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse yeah, Gun Forever, Gun right? Back then. And we're going there after here to see the incredible renovations and the public-private partnership that has made this the temple, the shrine, the mecca, the destination for people around the world to come here. And when Bob Dylan comes to play here, when Dead and Company come to play here, I'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> so what you can see here, so these are, this is brushed aluminum. Yeah. Up top here you can see LED lights. And they shoot onto and here. They and they project on, so at night time. And you can create anything you want. We could do a mosaic, we could do 1,500 different color combinations, we could do motion, waves. Watch this, look at this. this will, oh my gosh. We gotta get the Grateful Dead here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. That is just perfect. <laughs> Only arena Pretty in the world perfect. with that. No, I can. You gotta go and live. Hi. Give me all the tickets you have. I want to buy them right now. This is the happening spot on earth. Let's go. Come on. Put it on my credit card. Method of delivery is electronic. Electronic, that's so we'll fine. Put them all on your account. Okay, here, so just. You can go to everything possible. <laughs> Where's my phone? Oh my gosh, I've lost it all. I'm going in anyway. Look this, at this. This is cool. This is the only arena in the world with this. This is our power portal. So. This will actually, so it's a, a wall of a light, you know, a tunnel right. of LED. The sound follows you as you walk along. So if we're doing, we have wow. imagery. Wow. I've made it home, Len. <laughs> Thank you for delivering me to the promised land. Go Cavs, go Ohio. Put me in, coach. <laughs> I'm ready to play today. And this wall right here. This is the. Every, this is it. This, this is the championship it. court. So Larry this is the court. Trophy. Yeah. There's the uh, ring and the storytelling behind the yeah. ring. Yeah. And then this is the court. So oh, right. Oh, cool. With a 2016. So we have a, wow. a line of people. This was the first time ever coming back from three to one in the finals. First ever. Never before. 32 times before. Never. No one ever won. Right. Yeah. Lenny Wilkins, my first NBA coach. Campy Russell, an opponent in college. Yeah. Nate Thurman. Nate Thurman, just absolutely incredible. And then Austin Carr. Yeah. Austin Carr. So in 1971, in February, when, when Notre Dame beat UCLA, which began ultimately from that end to the, to the 88 game winning streak, in four years with John Wooden, Coach Wooden mentioned the other team twice. We lost both of those games. Thanks a lot, yeah. Coach. The first time was when he mentioned Austin Carr, who went then for 46 points against the Bruins. I was on the freshman team and did not play. Oh my gosh. But what a, what a prince of a human being. But what the Cavaliers do, they give this city, this community, this region, these people, these students, they give identity and they give credibility. Something that you can hang on to. I remember some of these uh, jerseys over yeah. our era. Oh yeah. Going back to Campy and Austin and, and Nate Thurman. And yeah, and Miracle Bill Richfield. Fitch, just in the and, Hall of Fame this year. Yep. So this this used to be uh, a walled off restaurant. This was all outside space. So famous local restaurateur Rocco Whalen. Then we're talking about our monsters hockey team. The week before we won the championship. Right. Our hockey team won the Calder Cup. So that's the Calder Cup. This is the AHL. AHL team. Yes. So after each game that we won, the team would come out with a can of spray, spray paint and knock off spray. This is the actual dasher board. Those are the boards that they run, yeah, on the side and that they, they run into, like right? the golfs. Right. Yeah. Look at how you got more of these panels, the light panels oh, over it's here, all, all the way all around, all the way around the whole building. 452 feet. So it's all, it wraps all the way around. Oh, look at this. So this is like These our, all the our, our wall of honor, which we started this year. Right. We'll, we'll put into so right. every year. We'll induct others into the uh, 
the wall of honor. Well, you're you're uh, big into art, right? Yes. Oh yeah. So do you know about Cause K A W S? No, I don't know that. So he's a relatively Cause. famous uh, international artist, and uh, this is K A W S. K A W S. So uh, Dan and Jennifer Gilbert, they, one right. of their big gifts here, which just a, a huge amount of uh, national, international artists throughout the entirety of the building. Nice. And uh, and so you have artwork everywhere throughout here, but that was... So let's go take a picture in front of this guy. Oh yeah, you got it. This was the exterior right yeah, here, right? right? Right up here. This was right where that, uh, that column is. That was yeah. the exterior. This team shop and wow. then... And again... How long did this take you? This took uh, 20 months. So we shut so down two do? summers, and then we operate. We we shut down for two summers, including this last summer, and then we operated during the season and did all the exterior work as well. Then we only had one area where people could gather. This, this was it. So think about you're coming in food and beverage, getting my food, going to my seat, finding the top of a trash can or, or a wall. That was your dining experience. We created eight neighborhoods where people can gather, anchored them all with food and beverage. So Michael Simon, I don't know if you remember him from the. Uh, you know, he's a nationally renowned chef. So this is his, this is his version of the Shake Shack. And okay. we totally, all the flooring was redone, lighting, all new concession this is spectacular. stands. spectacular. All the restrooms redone. So every square inch of this building was, it's, it's a new arena right now. So this building's 26 years old and it feels like it's a day old. This is a whole other arena here. This it's is, a, it's a, it's it's a, a completely whole, new arena. It's a whole new it's arena. It's fantastic. So we have 144 of, uh, we celebrate these placards. We celebrate yeah. different parts of Cleveland. So nice. first traffic light was, was yeah. here. All the Presidential history. debate. World be free, you remember World? World? Are you kidding? Yeah. I love World. I was teammates with World. Oh. Yeah, but in, in San Diego. Instant office. office. He was fantastic. Huh? This, this was, this was um, exterior space to the building. We grabbed the square footage. Right. These are local, you know, local brew pub. So this is a saucy brewer. This is the transition to the baseball field. Right. right? This is a Gateway Plaza. So yeah. this this opens up. We'll use this for outdoor events. Yeah. And then that's where the Indians play, Progressive Field. This is fantastic. Yeah. No, it's it's great. So so Jonathan Sawyer and Karen Small again, well-known restaurateurs locally. You got them all here, Lynn. Mm. Is this is this on wheels? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, <laughs> this was it. What a time, what a party. Oh my gosh, Cleveland, 50 guys. I'm the luckiest guy on earth. We finally get together and there's just 50 guys in this one room just off the court. And it was the first time we got to be with each other. And it was just high fives. There was no cell phones. There was no photography in the time. But the, in the room, there was no agents, no managers, no handlers, no posses, no, uh, not even David Stern was in there. And everybody was having the time of their life. High fives, hugs, kisses. Yeah, man, tears of joy and pride and happiness. It was such a great time that even Kareem was having fun. <laughs> and so, but over there in the corner, while we're just having the time of our life, there's Wilt. And Michael, J, um, and, and Michael Jordan sitting at the table right over here just arguing. Arguing about, forget this top 50 of all time, let's just talk about the number one of all time. Right? <laughs> and they're going back and forth and back and forth. Get out of here, guys. Just be, just be happy with what is. Right? <laughs> and so finally David Stern comes in. It's time to go. And he says, okay, guys, let's go. Starts line, he has the card, lining everybody up in the order for the television appearance. And Michael and Will will not give it up. And David is looking, come on, guys, let's go, you know. And, he, and then finally, David just loses. He said, Will and Michael, if you guys don't come right now, we're going without you. It was basically, John, wouldn't have, we're going to miss you, right? And so they get up and they come to get their place in line. And as they're walking across the already existing line, Wilt. Wilt, oh my gosh, we could talk the whole night, and day, and month, and life about Wilt, who was like magic. He was basically Santa Claus. He just tried to make everybody happy, and he was really, really good at it. The kindest, nicest, happiest person on earth. And so Wilt was walking across the front, and Michael was trying to find his place. And then Wilt stopped right in front of everybody, and David's right there, and Michael, and all the other guys. And Wilt, who always had to have the last word, 
he looks at everybody and he says, Michael, just remember, when you played, they changed all the rules to make it easier for you. <laughs> when I played, they changed all the rules to make it harder for me. <laughs> and then he went and got in line and stood at perfect attention. <laughs> Because Wilt, it was just absolutely incredible. Will somebody please get a rebound one time, start the fast break. Rocket Mortgage Field House. Wow, I could live here. They have everything. Why would you ever want to leave? Let's go. All of this is new, right? This was all, yes, yeah, so this was all redone. We this sort of was, blew out space back here and created a, this right. was about 360 people, so floor seats, boxes nearby on the floor. So. This is fantastic. But it's, yeah, it's all, all been totally redone. And you got the backcourt of the future. Yeah, this is like. In Sexton and Garland. Yeah, right? oh, I, I tell you what. And um, you got the coach of the year coming up, yeah, John Beadle. Yeah, I tell you, with um, Darius and, uh, and also with Kevin Porter Jr. has been playing really well. And, uh, Kevin Porter Jr., he's a guy from USC, right? USC. Oh, I didn't talk about him, man. Right. That guy's right. good. And then we have Dylan Will you Windler tell him hello well. for me? Yeah. I did a couple of his games last year. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. He's got a lot of James Harden in him. Yeah, a he's, lot. Yeah, he's got uh, tremendous skills. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Campy, you know, we talked to Campy's at every practice and just even check, touch base with him, too. And he goes, you know, he talked about both uh, yeah. Kevin and Darius. He just used, hey, they're yeah. special. And, and Colin Sexton, who's now going into his second year. Yeah, second year. Who, and how was his, how was his first year? work ethic. His first year, he was, uh, he turned himself, you know, you just even look at his three-point shooting. Right. So he shot over 40% from uh, three-point line. And he was, he was, you know, he, he finished second team all rookie. You know, from all-star game on, he was... Wasn't he the guy on the team when they, at Alabama when they ended up the, on the game with three, yes. with three guys and yes. they still against, almost against won? Against the Gophers, right. instead of Gophers. <laughs> and they still almost won. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This looks like a, a Las Vegas pleasure palace to me. <laughs> so we got the skyline of Cleveland. You'll see with the uh, lockers themselves. No, coach, just give it to me over on the other side of the court. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy alive because I am like a lot of people in the world. 11 years ago when my spine failed, I lost everything. I lost my dignity, my identity, my credibility. We lost all our income. We lost our health insurance. It was the absolute worst that you could possibly imagine, or so I thought. I survived. Now, I'm busier than ever, I'm happier than ever, I haven't been this healthy since I was 13 years old. That is a result of people like you who have sacrificed everything to give me a chance. And now over the course of these last 11 years, from going from having nothing to having everything, and I have learned some of life's greatest lessons in that time. Tolerance, patience, perspective, and relativity, and if anyone had ever mentioned those four words with the name Bill Walton before, you'd have to seriously question that person's sanity. Yeah. I'm still living the dream we've had. For me, it's not over. It seems like all this life has been just a dream, but without love in that dream, it'll never come true. Thank you, Cleveland. Thank you, Cavs. May the four winds blow you safely home. Thank you, folks.